I'm back with an entry to this year's Face Awards Singapore. I hope you love this look and enjoy the tutorial. The concept behind this look was inspired by an oil painting by an artist called Happy. Her paintings are really poetic and beautiful. Do check out her website that I've linked below. To me, this makeup illusion evokes wonder and mystery. The face is lifted off to reveal an infinity of flowers underneath which are yearning to spring forth. If you'd like to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. First, I primed my face with the Green Colour Correcting Liquid Primer from NYX Professional Makeup to reduce any redness. Then I used a Four Whites liner in vanilla to mark out the sections on my face and neck, checking the angle of illusion intermittently and correcting the angle with a wet wipe and more drawing. I also drew in a rough placement of the flowers and leaves with a Four Whites liner in seashell. By the way, I've listed all the products that I used below so that you can refer easily. Fun fact, I did this look using a cutout from a Ziploc bag. Yep, that's right, no latex, no bald cap, just a piece of plastic that I measured to fit the part of my hair that I would be painting on. I used spirit gum to attach the edge to my jaw, making sure to tap the plastic on the gummy part till the gum was tacky and trimmed the excess. As for the flappy part, I used a medical grade tape to attach it to the other side of my jaw for the moment. Next, I used a split cake of water activated face paint to create some large flowers on my neck and jawline. Split cakes are a great way to create flower petals with ease, especially on a part of your face that is difficult to see in the mirror. It's important to reload the brush well before each new flower to ensure a seamless design. I used NYX's Vivid Brights Cream Colour in Cyberpop to paint the next group of flowers. For these, I basically just painted some rough flower-shaped blobs that I would later define and outline. Midway, I used the same four whites liner to mark out the area on the plastic so I could see where the flowers needed to go. Next, I used NYX's Liquid Suede Metallic Matte in Buzzkill to paint the last group of flowers. Then I used light green face paint to fill in the leaves, stems and vines. I had crafted a vine out of wire more Ziploc plastic and tape, and I used the same green face paint to paint over it. I then switched up to a darker shade of green paint to add dimension to the greenery on my face as well as the plant prop. This next part was probably the most challenging part of the whole look. Outlining the cavity and the flowers, adding detail, and at the same time, filling in the background with black face paint. And then I remembered this mirror. Thanks NYX Cosmetics for this pretty mirror. To be honest, I didn't expect it to be this difficult to paint this part of my face. But thankfully, with perseverance, patience, and some eye strain, the outlines and details were eventually filled in to my liking. I used a couple of liquid suedes in respect to the pink and suede to add more colour and depth to certain flowers. Then I went back in with face paint again to fill in the remaining cavity and outlines. I then switched to a large filbert brush to paint the black border around my face and the left side of my neck and shoulder. I had to use a wet wipe to clean off some black bits that were still wet so that I could paint in more green leaves. For the smaller leaves, the paint was already dry so I could layer on both shades of green without any interference from the black. As with any illusion makeup look, it's important to keep checking the angle of illusion in the mirror so that you can ensure that your illusion is on the right track. Another thing to note is that these looks can take a really long time, so keeping yourself entertained and hydrated are definitely helpful too. The finishing touch was adding some highlights with white face paint. I really like how it makes the plants look more realistic and really pop on the black background. And then I thought I was done with the flower part, but nope, I wasn't. I went back in with respect the pink and more white highlights. Then I was done. But first, of course I had to confirm that by taking a photo in the correct angle of illusion. And apparently, that is my satisfied face. What? Using NYX's Total Control Drop Foundation with their specially designed brush, application was a breeze. Next, HD concealer under the eyes, blended in with my fingers, and then the Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo to highlight all the high points of my face, blending it in with the same brush except for the nose bridge where I just used my fingers. I added contours with the NYX Wonder Stick for some definition so that my face wouldn't look like it was a huge oval. Same deal, I blended it in with the brush and my fingers for the nose. Next, I primed my eyes and then decided to add some glow with NYX's holographic stick and mermaid armor. Also to all the high points of my face because I wanted a magical and glowy look. 
After blending it out, it was time to set everything with loose powder so it wouldn't budge. I used NYX's brow contour in espresso and then layered their powder brow filler on top for a more delicate and feathery look. This orange eyeshadow called Sunset Junction was originally from the NYX Loves LA collection. I blended that in my crease and then darkened it with this shade from the Olive View Perfect Filter palette. Then I decided to bring both colors down towards my inner corners. Color time! I applied the dark blue shade from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette to the outer and inner corners of my lids, and then Malibu from the NYX Loves LA collection just beside the dark blue. For some shimmer, I applied this gorgeous prismatic eyeshadow in Mermaid to the middle of my lids, as well as my favourite duochromatic highlight in Twilight Tint. Then with the very awesome NYX Epic Ink Liner, I drew a wing. I used the same orange shadow on my waterline, all while singing of course, followed by this NYX eyeliner in Sunrise Blue, and finally darkened it all with the Perfect Filter Maroon shade again. Next, Lashes and NYX Worth The Hype Mascara. Is it really worth the hype? You tell me! Using the darker shade in the Highlight and Contour Pro palette, I deepened all the contour areas once more along my cheekbones, forehead, jawline, chin and nose. I applied NYX HD Blush in Amber on my cheeks, and then added their duo chromatic highlight in lavender steel and highlighted that with twilight tint. I love highlighting my highlight, you guys. Using the same contour shade, I darkened the edge of my neck and then used the Four Whites liner in vanilla to highlight the rim of the face as well as a wonder pencil which I blended together with a cotton bud. Lastly, I filled in my chin with some white face paint mixed with a NYX concealer pencil and shaded it with black face paint. I lined my lips with NYX's suede matte lip liner in whipped caviar and then couldn't decide which lippy to use. Eventually, I went with the liquid suede in Life's a Beach which I applied to the outer corners and Cosmic Metals in crystallized metal on the center of the lips. Next, I added the same maroon eyeshadow on the outermost corners and the Love You So Mochi highlighter in Arcade Glam on the center for extra glow. I added the same highlights that were on my face to my shoulders layering and highlighting the highlight once again for that crazy shine that y'all know I love. And finally, I was done. I put my wig on first and then a black elastic headband and tucked the front of the wig in. I arranged my plastic piece, trimmed off the excess and stuck my plant in for the finished look. So, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, I would be so happy if you could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram for updates on whether I make it through to the top 15 of Face Awards Singapore. My name is Nicole and I'm Electric Eggplant. See ya!